10 year at 1% uh, and forward earnings on the S&P 500 at about 22%, you know, to kind of put those together, you know, that's a forward earnings yield of about four and a half percent on the S&P that spread over the 10 year of three and a half. That's pretty much where we were uh, before we started talking about the pandemic about 12 months ago or 13 months ago. Uh, so in, in that light, I think that the market uh, you know, you always have to look at interest rates. There's always this choice between the risk-free rate and and risk assets. So, I, yeah, I'm very, very bullish on the market. But you know, you can drown in a river that's on average two feet deep, and that and and it's things like GameStop and and other things that obviously are dominating the news that can knock people out of the game. And, and I think that you know, minimizing mistakes here and just playing the long game is is a big deal, as, as trite as that sounds. So speaking of GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond, AMC, some of those other uh, Reddit revolution stocks, as Melissa Lee calls them, how, are they, how do you see those impacting the market over the next week even? Because we don't really know when this whole thing's going to wrap up. Sure. I don't. It's a great question. I, I think it impacts you know, the brokerage firms that are, I guess, quote, enabling the trading, and, and they're going to have to figure out how to, how to you know, watch their own balance sheets and and you know, make sure there's liquidity for their counterparties and, and the, the clearing houses. I don't think it affects the market. I mean, I think that, you know, I think I heard GameStop was the largest holding in the Russell 3000 at some point. So certainly anyone who's buying or selling GameStop is surely aware of the casino environment that surrounds that. I, I don't really see, I think what affects the market is is vaccination timelines and, and you know, not so much even in the U.S., but, you know, globally, I think the EU is struggling and South Africa and, and many other countries. So I think that I think GameStop is fun to think about because it's it kind of came out of nowhere to some degree. The victims are quote hedge funds. You know, if, if people don't typically feel badly for hedge funds, but right now right. we're trying to find the victim. There will be one uh, or many. Uh, but I, I think that that's noise. I think the market will trudge along and 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 be just fine. Um, and we can talk later about some some names, but there's plenty of value out there. And, and you know, it, you know, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. You know, let, let's get into talking some stocks uh, that either you or the funds you own, uh, the funds you have own. Uh, you're bullish on mid cap stocks in particular. Um, this year, the Russell outperforming other indexes. So that makes sense. Do your picks, uh, are they a, a reopening play or are they a play that can kind of ride out any kind of uncertainty we might see? Sure. Yeah, I suppose to some degree they're a reopening play, but it's more, you know, they've performed throughout the pandemic. So looking at like a BJ's Wholesale Club or or Big Lots, which are in our Hennessy uh, mid-cap 30 fund, I mean, they've they've done quite well through the pandemic. I mean, we know the story with grocery and and retail and, and they fit squarely in that camp. I mean, I would point out that, you know, both are, you know, the markets at 22 times earnings, uh, you know, both, you know, Big lots at about 10 times earnings, BJ's at about 18, you know, both, you know, free generator, you know, strong generators of free cash flow. Uh, big lots pays a dividend, good give, dividend growth, you know, good balance sheet, so on and so forth. And I think at a time like this, it's really important to kind of look at very basic uh, approachable names like a big lots and, and realize that there's value, there's growth, there's strong balance sheets, you're not. You know, just trying to sell to another buyer, you you know, you or buy from another seller. I mean, this is not a trading play. This is an investment, and I think that uh, names like this will start to get more attention as people, you know, get clearer heads. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.